All right, so today we are going to be taking a look at a digital multimeter that I was sent to review. So um, here's the packaging. It is pretty nice packaging if you take a look at it here. Um, I mean, this doesn't say a whole lot about it. Professional manufacturing technology leader. Um, and that's really all the information that they give you right on the box. So let's take a look inside of it and uh, see what they see what we got. Opening up the box here, we got our multimeter. Inside some nice bubble wrap. Don't need that anymore. Okay, now here is our packaging in the bubble wrap. Nice and safe. Let's take a little look see inside here, and we have the multimeter, an instruction manual and some cables for it. All right, so let's crack open these cables. Take the multimeter here on the back. You got a little kickstand here, which you can pop out like that. It stands up on its own, which is really, really handy when you're testing stuff. It folds in flat. On the back, we also have these little clamps here, which hold down the probes. A little tight to get into, but it's a nice flexible plastic, so. You'll get it eventually. Our black cable is going to plug into the COM port down here at the bottom. Our red cable is going to plug right into the 10 ADC port right down there. So in order to get this working, what you're going to have to do is peel off this orange case here. So you have just the multimeter. Then you're going to have to go into the back here. There are two little screws. They are Phillips head screws. Make sure before you open up the case, you unplug these to reduce the risk of electrical shock. Okay, so you gotta crack off the back, which is absolutely terrifying because it's stuck up at the top here and it makes a crackling noise. Now you see you got this here, which is where you plug in your nine volt battery. Hopefully this one is good because it's the only one that I got. Now we're just going to slide this back in here. Should fit nicely, just like that. We get to put the back back on. And now your multimeter is all set up. So we'll slide it back into its handy dandy little orange case here. Plug the leads back in, into the correct ports, and turn it on. It works. Voila. You're going to want to make sure that before you use these, you uh, take the caps off so that it'll all actually work. Just give her a little give her a little pull. And now you got those working. I would personally hold on to these so that you have them to cover up. Um, don't see a spot to store them, though. So that's something to keep in mind. Speed round of everything that this multimeter can do. DC voltage measurement, DC current measurement, AC voltage measurement, resistance measurement, diode test, transistor test, and an audible continuity test. If you're looking into buying this, I'm hoping that you already know what all those are. Um, instructions here are surprisingly good. A lot of instructions that I get are very, very poorly translated English, but if you look, these have, um, they have very, very clear instructions here. Like for instance, DC voltage measurement. Connect the red test lead to the voltage ohm milliamp jack and the black lead to the comm jack. So what we would do is just move that right over there. All right, set the rotary switch at desired DCV position. So all that you do is you just re uh, you turn this until you get to the DC voltage position. If the voltage to be measured is not known beforehand, set range switch at the highest range position, then reduce it until satisfactory resolution is obtained. We're just gonna test our table here, assuming it's probably about 600 volts. Connect test leads across the surface or load being measured. Read voltage value on the LCD display along with the polarity of the red lead connection. And, we got one. But in all seriousness, this does do exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a tool, not a toy. It's not fun or interesting unless you're really into that. But if you need to measure stuff, this has got your back. It works. It's inexpensive. What are you waiting for? Then for storage, all that you're going to want to do is take this little kickstand here and pop her back in, which is a little bit difficult, actually, because this is all rubber, like a very rubbery plastic, so it's um, very malleable. And then you're just going to grab your leads here, and you can wrap them around, wrap them around your multimeter, and then you just stick them in these little back handy dandy storage things, 
and I would put these cover on them because they are quite sharp. They're a uh, ow. Yeah, you can you could draw blood. Not that you should. You know, it doesn't look the prettiest when it's all packaged up, but you can store it. That's what matters.